These unicellular creatures are living gemstones, literally. Their cells are enclosed in a cage of translucent opal. Although heavily armored, they glide elegantly. Meet one of the strangest creatures on planet Earth, freshwater diatoms. Please let me introduce you to a few members of this family. Here we got Surirella, Simbella, Eunosha, and Pinularia. Which one is your favorite? Surirella might be one of the most beautiful freshwater diatoms. They're quite big and nearly visible to the naked eye about half a millimeter long. Crammed into a suspended water drop, something unexpected happens. Surirella starts to float and attach to the water surface of the drop, creating an impressive mosaic. Diatoms are essentially like plants. And just like plants, also, diatoms use sunlight to do photosynthesis. Their glass-like shell, also called frustule, is extremely helpful for gathering light. It works like a lens, focusing light beams onto their massive chloroplasts, these wavy things here, allowing diatoms to thrive, even in gloomy places. Diatoms are so prolific that they can form microscopic forests, which are home for other bizarre microcreatures, like this ciliate. Or the hairy belly, the gastrotrich, a microanimal. Diatoms have distinct shapes depending on from which side you look at them. In top view, Surirella looks like a ship. In side view, very differently. The brownish-golden color of diatoms is connected to light harvesting. Fucoxanthin, a carotenoid, is responsible for their coloration. This compound increases their light harvesting efficiency dramatically. At the same time, Fucoxanthin protects the cellular machinery of the diatoms from harmful UV light, sunscreen and solar panel in one package. Some diatom species like Pinularia store the harvested light energy directly as oil. These wobbly dots are pure oil droplets that just wait to be harvested. This is why diatoms might play a certain role in solving the world's energy problems. As you have already noticed in the footage, diatoms are pretty mobile creatures. How do they do that? Diatoms use the so-called van der Waals force to attach to surfaces. That is the same miraculous force that geckos use to stick to walls. Under normal conditions, using this force underwater wouldn't be possible. So diatoms have a trick up their sleeves. Diatoms secrete an extremely thin film of mucus. So thin, in fact, that this slime trail is invisible to light microscopes, even at maximum magnification. This mucus trail allows the van der Waals force to do its magic even underwater. I hope I could light up your interest and passion for freshwater diatoms. Please check them out for yourself. You will love observing them under the microscope. Thank you so much for watching. Let's dig up some more dirt and let's stay curious.